This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and welcome to part five of the video series where we are building this disc detainer pick. Once again, with me is Bosnian Bill. And today we are going to be concentrating on building the picking tip, which is probably one of the hardest parts of this project. Yeah, we saved the worst part for last. It's, uh, it's something that Bill and I have both struggled with in the past. The, the idea is we need a 1 16th inch rod of music wire that is hardened and tempered steel. And then at the end of it, we need a tiny little flat piece like this one right here. And this is one that I've made in the past. And I actually silver soldered that piece of metal on. But let me tell you, that probably took me a couple of hours to get it right. It multiple, really did take me multiple yeah, attempts. many, many attempts. And, and they really don't take a lot of torque before they'll start to shear off. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a problem. So, so this is something we're going to have to think about a little bit. Bill, you're going to have to stop drinking so much. I'm sorry. Okay, well, it's worth it. If, if this turns out... It'll be worth it to stop drinking for 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, we'll celebrate afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's do some research. Let's head downstairs and, uh, and see what we can do. All right. Okay, folks, we are back upstairs and we were successful in building what I think is a really high quality tip. We went through a lot of different possibilities trying to decide how we were going to build this. And I think a couple of them are worth noting beforehand, a couple of our rejected ideas. Yeah, uh, because it's not a complete rejection. Um, and I'll tell you why. A lot of you guys are still using these style picks. And so being Bill, I hit the easy button and I went directly to a company you guys have heard of before, Spooks. I've done a couple of reviews of their picks. They make great stuff and they also make great replacement tips for these Chinese picks. So a lot of guys will buy these, pull that tip out, throw it away and put in one of these very nicely, if I can get them apart here, come on focus, very nicely finished uh, silver soldered pick tip. So you notice how narrow and thin that is? There's no question you can precisely place that on one disc at a time. So great. Unfortunately, I bought several of them, but as you can see, they're not quite long enough for the tool that we've designed. Well, fortunately, Spooks also makes this guy. This is a replacement tip for the Jayco pick. Uh, the difference, of course, is that the shaft on the Jayco pick is 1 8 of an inch diameter, and we're looking for 1 16th. We could always, I guess, modify that, but unfortunately it's also not quite long enough. So we had to reject that. But if you're looking simply to replace a tip in one of these, I'd urge you to take a look at the Spooks website rather than try to make one yourself. But I agree. I've used them before in the past. No problems as far as strength or usability goes. Yeah. Very good. So here's what we ended up doing. And this actually came from a suggestion that I got on Twitter. We started rather with one of these rather than a solid bar of steel. These are ejector pins that are used in injection molding. What they do is, is the very little tip down here will go through the side of a mold and pop out a part after it's molded. This whole thing is made of one piece of hardened and tempered steel, so we're already part of the way there. So we just took one of these, we machined the this little knob on the end down to about 20 thousandths of an inch, about half a millimeter, and then sanded off the ends, used files to get it to the final shape, and and frankly, I am very happy with the final result. You I think this is going to work well. One piece of metal, that's much less chance of any kind of shearing or anything. Plus, 
the length works in our favor. So, and it's the right diameter. Yep. It's the best of all worlds. It just took a little bit of figuring out, a little bit of waiting as we ordered through the internet. But it worked but, out. But it, it worked, worked out. out. I'm perfectly. glad we did wait. Yeah, I'm glad we paid attention to to other people's suggestions. <laughs> yeah. So this thing has uh, has come together. Do we have anything left to do? Well, um, we got to get off of here. We got to put this thing together and maybe give a demo real quick. Oh, this and thing has to work? It's got to work. I thought it was I'm supposed afraid. to look pretty. Um, it will look pretty while it's working. Uh, How about that? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Stick around. We'll be back.